Hey second graders, happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've been outside to enjoy the beautiful weather. The great news is it's just gonna keep getting better. So get outside, make sure you enjoy it. Um, and uh, make sure you're drinking your water, don't get too hot. All right, yesterday, or on Tuesday, I shared with you guys a new clue for Penelope Peabody. Um, I'm gonna read it to you guys again. The state I'm in now sure has a lot of history. It was one of the original 13 colonies and the Declaration of Independence was signed here. Last night I was driving through the city and ran my car right into the Liberty Bell. I think I cracked it. I'm going to head out to the key I'm heading out of the Keystone State right now before I get into any more trouble. I'm really lost this time. What state am I in? All right, here's your clue for one more time. See if you can figure out where Penelope Peabody is. These students have already gotten it correct. I have Weston, Ava, Emerson, Bennett, Lucas, and my mom. Everybody on that list got it correct. Um, you can go ahead and send me a message if you think you know where she is. Um, I have some exciting news. Uh, earlier this school year, I read The One and Only Ivan, and we loved the book, and we knew that The One and Only Bob, which was a new story that they were writing about the character of the dog instead of Ivan, um, was coming out May 5th, and I pre-ordered it, and... It came yesterday. I was so excited. So this is the one and only Bob. It's pretty thick. Um, I didn't look though. I wonder if it has some pictures. Oh, yep. It has some pictures just like um, the one and only Ivan did. So I'm going to start reading this one to you guys tomorrow because today I wanted to read to you guys a very special book I've been waiting to read. Um, today you got a chance on Seesaw to um, have an uh, get to work a little bit with homophones and homophones are two words that sound the same but mean something different and I have a book that I always read when I teach homophones and I wanted to make sure to read it to you guys too because it's kind of silly when you read it and then you can understand what it's saying um, so this book for today is called Dear Dear and it's written by Jean Beretta and it's dear like you're writing a note dear like the animal Okay, so that's what it's called. Whoa. All right, there we go. Dear, dear. I'll read it and then I'll explain kind of what they're talking about because it doesn't really make sense unless you, um, unless you understand the homophones. Dear, dear, I now live at the zoo. Wait until you hear what goes on over here. Love, aunt, aunt. Okay, it says, wait until you hear what goes on over here, like a location. And then it says, love, ant, like someone in your family, ant, like the animal. The moose loves moose. He ate eight bowls. So the moose, him, he loves moose, the type of food. He ate eight like the number bowls so he really likes it oh, i lost my spot have you seen the ew she's been in a daze for days okay so have you seen the you this is a you it's like a sheep she's been in a daze the daze is like um daydreaming or like not focusing She's been in a daze for days, like 24 hours. That's him, the horse who is hoarse from humming a hymn. Okay, that's him, like a person, him, a boy. The horse, type of animal, who is hoarse. Horse is like when you talk too much or you get sick, you might get hoarse. He's hoarse from humming a hymn. A hymn is like a song. It's quite a feat when the bat hangs from his feet. So it's quite a feat means something that's difficult to overcome. When the bat hangs from his feet. The monkey will tell you a tale as he hangs from his tail. So a monkey will tell you a tale, tale is like a story, 
as he hangs from his tail. Okay, here's the tongue twister. The doe needed the doe because he needed the doe. <sighs> okay, the doe is a type of a deer. It's a girl deer. She needed, which means you take something and you push it in. She needed the doe, this type of doe, because she needed, she had to have something, the dough. She needed the money. The toad was towed to the top of the seesaw so he could see the sea. So the toad, type animal, he was towed to the top of the seesaw so he could see the sea the ocean. The whale was allowed to wail aloud. So the whale, type of animal, was allowed, given permission to do something, to wail, wail is another word for cry, aloud, out loud. So this whale is crying, wailing out loud. The bear had to pause to bear his big paws. So the bear, type of animal, he had to pause, stop, to bear, that means show, his paws. His paws. It says bear snacks. Looks like he's breaking in. Hey, the elephant threw a pail through the big bale of hay. So hay, like you're saying, hey, what's up? The elephant threw, throw something, a pail, like this, threw, to go through something, a bale of hay, type of food. Woo, this is confusing. Have you read about the red fox who blew blue bubbles? Okay, have you read, like reading a book, about the red color, red fox, who blew, like blowing, blue, the color, Bubbles. Wow. The giraffe's long neck lets him choose what he choose. So the giraffe's long neck lets him choose, so he gets to pick what he choose, what he eats. The cows in the herd were in a good mood. I heard them as they mooed in harmony. So the cows in the herd, a herd is like a group of something, were in a good mood, like they were happy. I heard them as they mooed, like moo, in harmony. So they're singing group of cows. The bee flew away from the flea with the flu. And the bee can be sure that if he had the flu, the flea would flee too. Another tongue twister. Okay, the bee flew away. He took off from the flea because he had the flu sickness. And the bee, he can be sure that if he had the flu, the sickness, then the flea would flee, that means go away, too. Homophones. There is no news about the news. They keep to themselves. So there's no news, like nothing in the newspaper, about the news. This type of news is the type of animal it is. So it looks totally different, but it sounds the same. It says they keep to themselves. Aunt, aunt. You do have some very interesting new neighbors. I have a new neighbor, too. Do you know, like you know something, about the hare? It's a type of rabbit. With no hair, like hair on your head. She's an expert on skin care. Love your dear, dear. The end. <laughs> so this book can be super confusing if you don't understand homophones, but it makes more sense once you do. So this book is Dear Dear, and it helps us um, just review homophones, which you went over today in Seesaw. Tomorrow, I will share with you uh, the answer where Penelope Peabody is, and we'll also start our book, 
the one and only Bob, and I'll read a couple chapters a night, um, and we'll read it for the rest of the time. All right, guys, I hope you have a great night, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Don't forget, tomorrow's also Friday, so we have our um, class meeting tomorrow at 2 o'clock. And tomorrow we're doing a special um, show and tell. So be thinking right now what you want to share. You get to pick one thing from your house that you get to share with the rest of the people at our Zoom meeting. So it could be a favorite stuffed animal. It could be a favorite book. It could be a brother or a sister. It could be a pet. You get to decide. And you could share, uh, share that with us tomorrow at our meeting if you'd like to. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.